Well, hi everybody, it's Sandy Alnock. Welcome to my YouTube channel, where today I'm gonna to share a little bit of Periscope fun with you. This is the Wild Eye Lion, and I call him the Wild Eye Lion because he's based on a photograph by Jerry Vanderwalt, who runs Wild Eye. It's a photo safari company in Africa, and you can go on a safari and take photography lessons at the same time. How genius is that? I hope to one day get to go on one of these trips because I have an interest in both very much. And Jerry's given me permission to use his photographs in a series of fine art pieces. And that is what you're seeing develop right here. This one was done live on Periscope and it's on Nina cardstock, 110 pound, 11 by 17 sheet of paper with Copic markers, which are alcohol based markers. And I did it in a series over the last week or so. And I started out doing half an hour a day. And that was my goal was I was going to try to do a half an hour a day till it was done. And what I realized partway through is that I didn't like working for just a half an hour and then putting it away and then doing another half hour the next day and then putting it away. So after a bit, I realized, okay, everybody has seen the main being drawn. So why don't I just skip the other parts of the main in the live broadcast? So I would get parts of it done offline and then come back and show people the progress and show them the interesting parts instead of showing them absolutely every little detail because that was going to take forever and this thing would never get done. So not all of it was completely filmed on Periscope, but most of it was. Now, as I was doing this, I was thinking about wanting to do more of these fine art pieces and I want to do them on Periscope. The reason for doing that is that if I were to try to film this with my big camera at high resolution so that I could actually fill the screen with it, this is the footage from Periscope and it looks terrible blown up, but it looks fine here on this little teeny tiny phone screen. If I were to try to film it with the big camera, it would choke my computer. There's no way I could get this many hours of footage downloaded onto my computer and edit it into a video. So that's part of the reason. But the other part of the reason is because my channel is all about card making and different kinds of coloring that has something to do with card making. Occasionally I throw in a fine art piece because I want you to see that the tools that you purchase for your card making can also be used for fine art. So if you have an interest in doing something beyond card making, please use the same thing. Use your Copic markers, use your watercolors to make other pieces. But I don't want my channel to be taken over by the fine art because it's all about card making and there's so many things that I want to share with you about card making. So I don't want to get sidetracked with that. Doing these on Periscope seems to be a better fit for me because I can also interact live with people. It's something more relaxing and I don't feel pressured when I'm, I'm doing the Periscopes because I'm just kind of relaxing and coloring and chatting. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to focus it over there. Now, some of you don't have smartphones. I understand that, but you can now watch Periscopes live on the web. There's a link down below for my Periscope page. And you can always go there and see what I've done in the last 24 hours because the broadcasts stay there for 24 hours after they're recorded. You can't interact live when you're watching on the web. That may change eventually, but you, you can't right now. But you can watch the replays. You can watch the live ones. No problem. There's also links down there for downloading the app. If this is something new to you and you're intrigued with it, then feel free to do that and follow me. I'm Sandy Alnock over there on Periscope, and then you'll get a notification on your phone whenever I'm live. Now, I wanted to try something a little different rather than doing a half hour a day because that did drive me crazy and I wanted to really be able to dive into a piece and really sink my teeth into it. I've cleared my schedule for Thursday, October 29th, 2015. So this is next Thursday. I'm going to just turn the camera on and get started on whatever I'm going to be drawing that day. So you're going to get to see uh, probably not the pencil drawing portion. I'll have that part started so that you can see some color going on right away. And then I'm just going to draw all day long and see how far I get. And you can check in in the morning. You can pop in in the afternoon, visit after dinner, whatever you'd like to do. You don't have to watch all of it. I don't expect anyone to be there all day. And a matter of fact, if you do that, I might yell at you because you need to have a life. Don't, don't spend the entire day doing this. But if you try to watch the replay, you don't get to fast forward and jump to different portions. So I would recommend checking in periodically. So if you wanna set a reminders on your phone or on your calendar or something so that you just get a little notice that says, oh, don't forget to go check in and see how Sandy's doing on that crazy piece of artwork she's doing. 
and then you'll get to see it periodically. I'll also try to see if I can Instagram while I'm doing this. I'll have to figure out if I can do that from my iPad while I'm working on my iPhone and see how all that technology works out. And I'm also hoping that Periscope doesn't do any belly up things while I'm doing all this. So cross your fingers that the technology works out for this as well, because I do want to see if I can make this happen. So I will give you more details later on next week about what maybe what I'll be drawing. I don't really know yet. I have a whole bunch of different ideas and different ideas for what medium I might want to try. And we'll see how that plays out when it gets closer to that time. But I hope that it will be something that you'll find interesting. And if it's popular, then I'll do it more often, maybe every other week or so. I'll take a day and just do some fine art and you can just come in and visit as you're able. Now, whatever medium I'm working in is the medium I'll answer questions on. So if I'm doing something in watercolor, I'll answer watercolor questions. But I don't want to get sidetracked with talking about everything under the sun. It's not a Q&A. It's going to be about that medium or that piece or something. So I'm going to try to rein it in a little bit. I hope you'll consider grabbing a cup of coffee and visiting me on Periscope sometime that day. And we'll see how this experiment goes, drawing live online on the interwebs and sharing some art on our phones together. If you would like to share this with your friends, please feel free to do so. If you have people who are interested in drawing or wildlife art or just general weird art experiments, feel free to share this video with them. And here are a couple other of my detailed Copic drawings. If you'd like to watch any of those, you're welcome to do that. And I will see you guys later on. Take care. Bye-bye.